The BCFA doesn't have to tell its members not to vote for the PM. The people are suffering. And that very same suffering, right, is the one that dictates their choice of vote. And if you cannot read that in the eyes, right, in the pain, in the suffering of the people in this northern part of the country, then he's completely disconnected. He's, he's, not, he's not part of this region. He's, he's like in another world, right? But I just wanted to, to, to bring up a point here. We noticed that BSI has been issuing a lot of releases, press conferences, right? Painting the BCFA as though it's a diabolical or uh, 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 bad, for the, bad for the farmers, bad for the industry, bad for the country, and all they're doing is stirring up trouble, right? And not trying to understand. This is their favorite word, not understand. But let us go back. When ESR came in here, we embraced them. We stuck out our necks for them. We went to each village and we sold ASR to the people saying, okay, let us accept this company that is taking over BSI. Why? Because it's a big company, one of the biggest producers of sugar, one of the biggest skin um, um, producers. They have markets, they have technology, they have finance, and they even brought the promise to us that they will provide these resources to our farmers to make them improve their, 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 their productivity. They also brought promises that they will try to improve the milling rate from what it was. You know, they spoke bad about the English, that the English put the, 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 the sugar industry in the doldrums, right? And they would bring it up back. 